Hello. Hey, yo. Welcome to another pairing video. Mm -hmm. Today's going to be an interesting one because we have two different Pinot Gris. We have a French and we have a Canadian. We are going to try pairing them with prosciutto. I read online that you can pair Pinot Gris with prosciutto. So we have prosciutto and we're going to wrap it around cantaloupe and we're also going to make sushi. But I kind of messed up the sushi when I made it, the sushi rice. I don't know if you can see it that well here. It's kind of all sticky together. It looks like a rice porridge. But it should work. So we're going to try and see how they turn out. We have salmon, cucumber, avocado, and canned tuna. Simple sushi, but it's still very, very yummy. So our first round for the evening is the um, melon wrapped, no, the prosciutto wrapped melon. Melon wrapped prosciutto? No. Not I can't say it right. Uh, but first we have to taste our wines. So here we have the Mission Hill Estate Sears Pinot Gris. This is from Canada, the Okanagan Valley. And then we have the Marcel Hugues Pinot Gris from the Alsace region of France. So we are going to have a little taste of the wines first. We'll come back, tell you what we thought, and then we'll try the pairing. All right, okay, we're gonna now try. Carlos just has regular prosciutto because he doesn't want to have any of the cantaloupe. I'm not a huge no. cantaloupe fan in the first place. Um, if you hear background noise, that's my mom and grandma talking in the kitchen. Sorry about that. Um, but we don't have an empty house today. So, and we also have two dogs running around. Um, do you wanna, let's just try it. Go ahead, yeah. I, let's go, let's try the, with the Canadian one first. Okay. Yeah, how is the combination? Her first bite of the melon with the prosciutto. Is it interesting or is it meh? I think it's good. I think the cantaloupe's a little, like it lacks flavor. Not a good cantaloupe? Ooh. This goes well. Mm. But I read online that prosciutto and pinot gris go together, so that's why I picked. And then of course with the cantaloupe, I knew that like a sweet fruit would go with pinot gris. But now I really want to try, like the pairing with the Canadian one, it was nice, but I really want to try with this. It's a good pairing, I don't think it's fantastic with the Canadian one, but, but it works. Yeah, it's, it's, a good, like, it's a good pairing. I don't want to knock your socks off here, but it's a good pairing. Like I would re recommend clients, customers to get this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow. Okay, that's where the money's at. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's better. That's good. Hmm. See, the prosciutto by itself, I think this one's better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the acidity does something. I'll try it. Because this one is just so sweet, no acidity, it doesn't like counterbalance whatever's going on with the fattiness of the prosciutto. Mm. <clears throat> But you got like super sweet over here with the fruit, so it's gonna change it. Yeah, that's really, really good. All right, well, yeah, I, I think we can both say that like Pinot Gris can be paired well with prosciutto. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's a surprise. Like meat with white wine. So we also bought some dumplings. We tried to find gyoza, Japanese gyoza in the supermarket, but we couldn't. Nothing was labeled gyoza there. So we got these pork and veggie Chinese dumplings. So we're gonna fry these up while we make our homemade hand-rolled sushi. Mm -hmm. sushi. Wow, look at Sarah's knife skills. Filleting. Filleting skills. skills. I'm trying to take the skin off the salmon, but I was doing okay How's it going? until I just got here and it kind oh, of ripped, babe. started ripping off. I was doing good though, <laughs> and we're, we have the cucumber and the avocado ready. We need to get the can of tuna, and then we have the gyoza. Making the some gyoza as well. Frying away. So we both tried the. Um, I also tried the prosciutto without the melon, and I liked it with the French one. Carlos, you didn't like it. I didn't like it. The prosciutto I by itself it with the French one. Yeah, I thought it was good. It was all right. Like I, there was no pairing in there for me, but. Well, There's no accounting for taste. Yeah. 
Carlos is laying down the first roll. And what are you going to put in it? I guess just salmon and avocado. Okay. We have that here. We have our cucumber, tuna, salmon, and avocado. So you're going to do a salmon avocado roll. Carlos doesn't like his sushi with wasabi, he only likes soy sauce, and I love wasabi. Alright, we'll show you the finished product. So we have all of our sushi here, we made about four and a half rolls. We have a variety of rolls, I mean they all look the same to you here. Um, I think we have, we have one with everything, so tuna, salmon, avocado and cucumber. We have one that is a cucumber salmon. We have a tuna cucumber. And then do we have just a, a tuna avocado? Or sorry, we have cucumber avocado? We have salmon avocado. We have two with everything. We have a tuna cucumber avocado, I think. And Okay. Well, we're gonna try them all. And for the tasting, we're not gonna put any soy sauce or wasabi on the sushi um, with the wine for the purpose of this video for pairing, just because I think the soy sauce and the wasabi will take away. I mean, we'll still try them off camera and then we can let you know how it is, but on video, we won't use soy sauce or wasabi. So come on, come sit. I think what I read online is that salmon pairs very well with Pinot Gris. So we should have, I mean, whatever, we can just eat all them all, they all have salmon in them. So I think I'm gonna go for this one. This is a salmon cucumber roll. <clears throat> mm. I think salmon cucumber. Mm. Oh. When I made the rice. Okay. Mm. So yes, I'm not home. When I made the rice, it calls for rice vinegar. And I didn't make the rice that good. <laughs> you can taste the vinegar. Yeah, too much mm -hmm. vinegar. Mm. I mean, I like it's it. Good, yeah. It's really good, yeah. Sure, do that. Okay. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. This is a, with everything, salmon, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. avocado, tuna, and cucumber. <laughs> so it's good. good. It's good. I like it. We can taste the vinegar, right? Yeah, it's very vinegary, but it's still good. It's still good. A little bit of vinegary, like the salmon, it's like not enough. Mm. But it's but still good. Do you taste it with the wine? Yeah, it's good. It's good, the Canadian one. Mm -hmm. Now I'm doing the French. The French one's also good, but the Canadian one I think is better. It shines through more. Yep. No, that's not the right word. It doesn't shine through much. It pairs better. It's a perfect blend. Hmm. I think both are really good. Mm -hmm. I think I agree with you. I think the Canadian one pairs a little better. Yeah. But now we'll, we will try with the soy sauce and the wasabi and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rolling. Rolling. So we've had all the different combos. We had sushi with nothing. We had sushi with soy. We had, I had sushi with wasabi because you don't eat wasabi. And I think the consensus is that the sushi on its own and the sushi with soy is better with the Canadian Pinot Gris. Yeah, that's the consensus. With the wasabi, having the Canadian Pinot Gris, like it was just, the wasabi took over like all the acidity and everything from the Canadian Pinot Gris just went through like water. Um, so the France Pinot Gris, it um, it could send up to the wasabi, but it was just, it wasn't like an amazing pairing, but it could stand up to it. So I don't know. Overall, I'm really happy with the Pinot Gris that we had. We're gonna watch a movie now and finish them. And I really liked having the prosciutto with them. That was really good for me both. Um, wines are really good with the prosciutto and then the Canadian Pinot Gris was really great with the sushi. Yeah, definitely. I agree with everything. The Canadian one, I don't know, it's high acidity. It's a super mm -hmm. acidic. 
went well with both sushi and the prosciutto. Mm -hmm. There's something about that. The French one was really good, but I don't think it was as good a pairing. Mm -hmm. And I stick with like that Marcel Oug Pinot Gris being a 5 out of 5 for me. Like I mm -hmm. really liked it. I will buy it again. And this one as well, I really liked and I will buy again. Like I thought they were both just really, really good wines. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Alright, well, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. 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 Bye.